Earlier this week, Donald Trump calls MAGA supporter and rapper Lil Pump, Lil Pimp. Lil Wayne's girlfriend dumps him over his support for the president. Justin Bieber's pastor is fired and he reveals why. And more coming up on this weekly rundown. The Florida-born rapper Lil Pump took to the campaign stage to show his support for Donald Trump earlier this week after being mistakenly called Lil Pimp. And speaking of sound music and other things, one of the big superstars of the world, Little Pimp. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> How's it going? Do you want to come up and say something? You want to? Come on. Little Pump. Come on. Come on up here. Come on up here. Does everyone know who he is? Uh, do you know how big he is? Come on up here. <laughs> That's a nice hat. Come on, say something. Hello, everybody. How you, how you guys feeling? I come here to say, Mr. President, I appreciate everything you've done for our country. You brought the troops home, and you're doing the right thing. MAGA 2020. Don't forget that. Nevertheless, he stood tall at the podium, vowing his support for Donald Trump, but because of his very public endorsement of the president, lost 300,000 Instagram followers overnight. The internet went crazy after seeing Lil Wayne post a photo of him and the president after an alleged meeting discussing the Platinum Plan, a plan devised to inject $500 million into the black community. Soon after, fans noticed that Denise, his girlfriend, and him were no longer following each other on Instagram. Before deleting her Instagram, Denise posted a cryptic message saying, Sometimes love just isn't enough. Lil Wayne seemed to address the breakup rumors with his own cryptic yet poetic tweet saying, I live the way I love and love the way I live. I'm a lover, not a lighter, because they burn out. I am an eternal flame and burning love. Either leave with a tan, a third degree burn, or stay and die in love. He finished with, you're sweating. Sincerely, the fireman. Carl Lentz, former pastor of the Hillsong Church in New York City, revealed the reason why the church let him go of his duties is because of infidelities in his marriage. Lentz is more famously known for his mentorship and friendship with Justin Bieber, as well as his relationship with NBA stars such as Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Jeremy Lin. Lentz took full accountability for his actions and the results of his actions, stating, I was unfaithful in my marriage, the most important relationship in my life, and that this failure is on me and me alone, and I take full responsibility for my actions. Ex Danny Kane member Aubrey O'Day took to Twitter to reveal intimate relationship details with Donald Trump Jr. She reveals that her and DTJ did drugs together and he hates his father. On the brighter side, she did clear up rumors after one fan accused DTJ of cocaine use, saying they did drugs together and cocaine was not his drug of choice. Joe Biden leads in the popular vote by nearly 4 million votes ahead of Donald Trump and is close to crossing the finish line in the race to 270 electoral votes. In Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada, where the popular vote race is so close, ballots are still being counted. Donald Trump is still making unsubstantiated fraud claims and questions the validity of the election process. Amidst all the chaos, congratulations are in order for many firsts and milestones in office around the country. Delaware Democrat Sarah McBride became America's first ever transgender state senator. All four members of the squad of Democratic Congresswomen of Color have been re-elected. Richie Torres, a city councilor, will be the first Afro-Latino gay member of the U.S. Congress after capturing New York's 15th district. Oklahoma elects Moray Turner, the country's first non-binary lawmaker. And in Kansas, Stephanie Beyer is the state's first transgender legislator. These are just a few of the many elected officials across the country that attest to the necessary push toward inclusivity. That's all we have for this week. You can follow me on Instagram at oneadaze and on Twitter at Adaze Speaks. For extended clips and stories, be sure to check out www.thebuzzallaccess.com. I'm Adaze, I'm out.